We have more on the story that is dominating the National Football League, the anthem protest. Jerry Jones was adamant Sunday that any player that does not stand for the national anthem will not play. Jones clarified that statement, telling our Chris Mortensen that he's had this rule in place since last season. Our president tweeting Monday night supporting Jerry's stance. A big salute to Jerry Jones, owner of the Dallas Cowboys, who will bench players who disrespect our flag, stand for anthem, or sit for game. Stephen A., talk to me. What's your reaction to Jerry's comments on the policy? I don't like it, and my, my wish is that the, 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 the players call his bluff. Jerry Jones is not fooling anybody. The national anthem and, and, and patriotism and all of that stuff is not his priority. The bottom line is his priority. He's turned, a, you know, what, what, what is it, a $180 million investment into a $4.6 billion machine uh, that is the Dallas Cowboys. They're supposed to be America's team, so I can understand uh, why he's, he's bloviating about patriotism and what have you. But for him, it's about business. I can respect it. I can understand it uh, from that perspective that it's about business. You don't want to alienate advertisers and sponsors and things of that nature but at the same time I think that you know infringing on players rights is an issue for me and the reason why I say that is because some would argue that that's not the case at all and I can understand where they're coming from but here's my response to this there has been no hard and fast collective policy meaning during collective bargaining negotiations or the collective bargaining agreement that stipulates a player absolutely positively must it strongly recommends it suggests but unlike the National Basketball Association the NFL doesn't have a hard stringent policy on standing for the national anthem and if it doesn't have that as a collective body meaning the National Football League who is an individual owner to implement his own policy trying to usurp that of the NFL policy, which he has everything to do with formulating? He's one of the 32 owners. He has dominion over the league like the other 32 owners. They have say in influencing the National Football League commissioner and bylaws that, that hover over the National Football League. If it's something that you wanted to address, then you could have easily done that. They did not do that. They haven't done that until this became an issue. And even then, they haven't incorporated it into the bylaws of the National Football League. So why should he, as an individual owner, have the right to do this? I say no. I say the players should call his bluff. But I sincerely doubt that they will because you have marginal players who are worried about their jobs. You have veterans like Jason Witten who would never do that. And you have young dudes like Dak Prescott who are too young to do it. And a, another young dude in Ezekiel. Elliott, who's got his own issues and is in no position to protest anything. So Jerry Jones knows exactly what he was doing. If Michael Bennett or Richard Sherman or Malcolm Jenkins or somebody were the star of Jerry Jones' football team, you would not hear this stuff coming out of his mouth. But he knows he doesn't have that issue. That's why he can afford to say what he's saying.